Hi there guys. Um, if you watched yesterday's video, it's pretty much exactly the same place that I left off. I'm in Seam Reap now. Uh, found the hostel to stay in. Um, the bus had Wi-Fi, so um, because the island didn't have Wi-Fi on it or any, any sort of connection, I didn't actually research a place to stay. But luckily the uh, bus that I used did. So, yeah, I managed to find a place to stay in. Um, it's rocked up today and they've got room, so it's perfect. Uh, but yeah, it's Seam Reap now. I think it's gonna make, I'm gonna enjoy it here. There's all the uh, temples and stuff like that, all the temple ruins. So yeah, it's gonna be really, really good. Um, sat down in the uh, hostel for a little bit, downloaded the map of the area, and um, yeah, now going to explore because I can't check in for another four hours. So uh, just got to hang around for a bit. So instead of just sitting in the hostel doing nothing, to go out exploring. And also, like I've said before, I'm gonna have a, rent a dirt bike for a day, go out on the trails. Um, so I'm gonna go down to. Uh, Go down to the office and uh, speak to the guys in there and uh, see what they have to say. So yeah, it should be really fun. Um, well, uh, what's happened to the lens? Oh, it went well. The screen went all blurry, so I'm not sure if it's lucid or not. But uh, yeah, so I was just going out and doing a bit of exploring today. So I uh, just popped in the market for um, some lunch. Um, very really cheap, it's got a dollar for a plate full of noodles, so yeah, it's really, really good. My camera's paying up, so if this video is really, really um, like crap, then um, I think my camera might be knackered because I'm guessing this, this camera's right to 10 meters and we went down to nine, no, nine or ten when we was diving. Oh, and it's gone. No, it's back okay so I'm not sure like the screen keeps going off so I'm not sure if it continues recording or not um, but hopefully it will sort itself out but fortunately I bought my old camera um, as a backup so if this does stop working um, I'll have to check the footage later and see what it comes out like um, then what I'll have to do is switch to um, my backup camera um, and see if I can get this fixed somewhere or something like that um, because yeah like the screen's gone off at the minute the camera's really playing up now so hopefully I can uh, sort it or it'll sort itself out um, and like I said I just had lunch in the market it's really cheap really good as per usual um, and now uh, heading down to the office of uh, the dirt bike place to see and talk to the guys and uh, see what they say. So I went and spoke to the bloke, um, booked a tour for tomorrow. It was cheaper if you walked in as opposed to booked online. So uh, yeah, so I decided to go for the tour. And he said like, he could draw me a map of the trails and like show me where the trails are, but they're constantly changing, which I guess they are. Um, if people are using them for different reasons, then uh, just to use dirt bikes on them. Um, so the locals use them as well, so they sometimes change and they're all different. He said the other day he got lost for an hour and he's done them every day, so <coughs> yeah, it's uh, gonna be good. Um, one thing I've noticed if you pay here, because they use both dollars and Cambodian money like all the time, um, then in most places, like if you go to say just a market or uh, just a stall somewhere where they would like a proper cashier. Um, then it's actually cheaper to pay by uh, uh, what to pay in Cambodian money because it's about it's just over four thousand real um, to a dollar, um, so it's like four thousand one hundred or something like that. And um, if you pay, say something's a dollar, like uh, my lunch for example was a dollar, um, I gave them just four thousand real, so basically I saved myself like 100 real so uh, if you pay in real then it's you save it's not a lot but over time it all adds up depending on how long you're here of course but uh, yeah so I'm gonna carry on walking around now I've still got quite a while to like check in um, 
So yeah, just gonna carry on walking around and see if I can see anything. Uh, and hope that this camera is flicking again now and it's almost gone. I'm not sure if it's just a screen. I said I have to check um, when I get back. Um, yeah, the camera's playing up still. So yeah, we'll have to see what I can do about that. I might take my uh, take both of them, my backup and this one tomorrow. But he's got um, GoPros which I can use as well, which is absolutely perfect. So I might take my laptop down there so I can basically just get the footage straight off him. And um, oh, I need to go this way. Um, yeah, get the footage straight off him, and then I uh, can use it um, in the vlog, which would be really cool. Went back to the hostel and checked in. Um, right, sat down for a few hours and organised some files and stuff like that. So uh, hostel's okay. Um, yeah, it's a uh, bit of a party hostel, so hopefully they don't bring it up into the dorms, but we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Wi-Fi is quite slow. Um, so, yeah, it's going to take like, a few hours, but I think I tried to the wrong way. Um, I tried to upload a video in it, so it was going to take like four or five hours, so, yeah, it's, um, it's uh, not great. I like how I, uh, that's the main judgement that I give hostels, but I suppose when you rely on the internet for stuff like this, it's uh, quite important. Uh, as long as they've got Wi-Fi and it works, I mean, I can manage um, whether it takes all night to upload a video, then that's what I'll have to do. So, um, at least they're allowed to use YouTube here, unlike in um, China, where it was completely banned. So, uh, yeah, heading down into the uh, night market and uh, probably have a look at the uh, over the Bar Street as well, uh, which you can hear from here. Uh, so yeah, so they light everything up at night, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, got a, quite a big nightlife here. Okay, so there's some fireworks going off. Not quite sure what they're for. I'm gonna uh, head down and watch them. Okay, so, so I'm not sure whether uh, that was an organised display or whether um, someone was just letting fireworks off, which wasn't very long. Fireworks weren't that great. Uh, yeah, it's always nice to see fireworks though. So, uh, yeah, gonna head. I'm not sure. I'm guessing over here. It's blocked to the. Uh, Vehicles, so it's always good when stuff's got the vehicles. The fast is going to be exploding on the bridge, and it's going off on the bridge, it's exploding. It's so funny. Okay, so that was just ridiculous. The guys lighting them were getting knocked over by the blast of it. And then going back and lighting more, the crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> they're so, so mad. But it's okay because they're wearing motorbike helmets, so that means they must be safe. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Oh, and also, um, I was standing there recording, um, just in front of the crowd sort of thing. So I just walked along and stopped and started recording. And, uh, but the police there like told me to get back and then like a minute later they were like oh no you can go forward you can carry on going forward it's okay don't worry about it so <laughs> i think they really have 
much care for safety, it's literally, yeah, if you want to record there, you can record there if you want to, we don't mind. What water festival would be complete without a lot, a lot of water and some music and dancing. <laughs> okay, so those celebrations were pretty awesome. Um, they're going on for the next few days, so I'll get a chance to go in and get involved. I've got like no clean clothes, so <laughs> everything's in the wash, so I can't really get wet or anything like that. So like, there's people selling fireworks, and like, there's people using fireworks by the side of the resort. Seeing the fireworks on the bridge, I'm not really willing to buy one. Um, after having been well on the bridge, so uh, no, I'm about to get involved with the uh, dancing and stuff like that. Tomorrow night, the hostel's got something going on. Um, see if I get back in time, I'll be going to that. If not, then obviously I won't be going to it. So, yeah, it's, uh, I'm gonna try and get in contact with um, Martin and Grace as well, because I think they're here, but I'm not 100% sure. But they've left yet for Lau. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to meet up with them one last time. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. So yeah, just heading back to the hostel now. Get an early night for a long day biking tomorrow. It's going to be hard. Um, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be very, very fun. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll catch you next time.